Hello everyone and thanks for tuning back in. Alessandro de Crypto here. I hope you're doing all fine. So before we start as usual, I'm not a financial advisor and all the content and information in this video is my own opinion and my own market observation. So let's dive here into the one hour time frame. Yesterday we had this uh, falling wedge here which broke out to the upside as expected and as you can see during the pump here we created um, a rising uh, wedge here this uh, red pattern here so you see that we broke out already to the downside and had some support here at the 8k line but it looks like that we get rejected again here let's see if we are able today to move uh, above the 8k line again and maybe retest uh, the resistance here at 8200 let's see but maybe if this weekend we're gonna see uh, another leg up and maybe retest here the the resistance line and we are not able to break through maybe there i gonna take some little profits out from my um, ethereum and bitcoin stack just a little bit to look for a rebuy down here at around 7200 at the lower uh, region of this um, pattern this yellow pattern that we are in right now so just to accumulate some more uh, Bitcoin and Ethereum probably but if we're gonna just go down from here I'm gonna leave it and maybe look for a long position in this lower region right now I believe that this pattern here is very uh, bullish that we are in right now but if you look for a good long position I would look for an entry down here uh, close to the support and not up here uh, on close to the resistance line so here in the one hour we are just above 15 the RSI so this looks good it looks like we're gonna bounce again and maybe uh, retest 8k or even higher 8200 because stochastic is oversold and the RSI is just at 50 so this looks very very bullish and also we are very close to the 8k line I believe that if we see another push maybe this will take us at least to 8200 to the main resistance but it's not clear yet if we're gonna have this uh, breakout uh, this weekend because I think it's more healthy if we see the breakout during the week and not on the weekend when all the retailers are not trading mostly bots are trading on the weekend okay so here the four hour looks a bit different here in the four hour we have the RSI above 50 so that's good but stochastic is overbought already so here it's not clear if we're gonna maybe stay up here for quite some time because the hourly is oversold so maybe as soon as we have the hourly also overbought here the four hour and the one hour will start to cool off so if we have a push here i think 8200 is the maximum and not higher i don't believe that today we're gonna see the breakout here of this pattern so in my opinion we're gonna stay some time inside this yellow pattern right now here in the daily you see stochastic oversold and rsi just below overbought territory so here also we have uh, potential to see another push to the upside but uh, as you can see the stochastic here was oversold already here at around 7200 we recovered up but the stochastic stayed down so this in my opinion is like a perfect setup uh, to have a breakout here from this yellow pattern and see the price breaking 8400 8500 and move towards 10k so it looks like that uh, Bitcoin is right now accumulating uh, power to have this uh, push um, and break 84 8500 to s go straight to 10k also here in the weekly we are so long time already in the overbought in the in the stochastic and the rsi also is overbought so maybe if this weekend we're gonna close here with a red candle but above this important support line here i think this is gonna be the perfect setup for next week and if the price is going close to this line here i think we will have the perfect setup for a long position but as it is right now we have to look what is going to happen today and tomorrow maybe tomorrow evening it's a good time to check the price here in the monthly of course everything looks still very nice so let's have a look here on the longs and short positions everything is still neutral nothing spiked up as like crazy so maybe if we're gonna retest here 
the support line we have to see if we're gonna have um, a spike up in the shorts or in the long position i think this is going to be very important because right now we are cl very close to the resistance up here but we don't see the shorts or longs uh, spiking up everything is still neutral so i believe if we see here a correction down to the support maybe there we're gonna have um, one of the two spiking up like crazy and then we have to look um, uh, how we should trade that so right now I think that we just started the correction to the downside here from this rising wedge but before we see the price move to the downside I think we're gonna have another attempt to test here the resistance uh, up here and see if we can break it or not but in my opinion it's not yet the time that we can break it we need probably one two weeks more I believe but let's see all right guys with that said they're gonna wrap it up if you like the content please give it a like subscribe to the channel tick the little bell and we see us all in the next one bye